Cheerio, and welcome to a special tea time, tea time. at the Nook. <laughs> it's tea time. How was your tea, Mike? Doesn't have booze in it. What? <laughs> You're fucking there's, up. There's, doesn't it taste like we, I, I, we clearly indicated <laughs> <laughs> that you were supposed to spike your tea. That's part know. of the deal. Okay, this one doesn't have alcohol in it. I don't know how I... How I screwed that up. Not only that, but you told the audience now. You can so just like pretend like Could you're drunk. Could have played it off. Could have played it off. So, fucking drones, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's some shit. You know, it's it's really amazing how small they've gotten. How quickly. You know, because what you think when they start using them was... Uh, a rock, right? Let's call it 2006, mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, probably using them before then, but I mean, they were pretty big. I mean, those were you know jet-sized drones, and now they're to the point where you, the like the Israeli army has one that's like you know maybe twice the size of my hand flying around. Well, you know, Amazon wanted to start deliveries by drone. But it took them so long to get through the regulation process with the, was it the FAA? Yeah, probably. That the original plans for the drone were already obsolete, and they had to start over again. Mm, uh. I remember <laughs> them talking about going that route. They didn't know the backstory or whatever happened to it. But then, of course, there's target shooting with prizes, though. Yeah. Yeah, see, that, that's my... That's my uh, concern with them doing that is that people just be like, I'm just going to shoot that Amazon drone and see what that thing's carrying around. <laughs> <laughs> right oh. Is it a book or is it something more valuable? Guess we'll find a mix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guess we'll never know until you shoot at it. <laughs> It'd be way too tempting. I can see a lot of people doing that. I can see Mystery I, prize shooting. Yeah, exactly. I could almost see myself doing it. How good is that tracking device on that thing anyways if you dunk it in water? <laughs> uh. Do you, is this something that, like, do you see them getting continuously smaller? How do you know the small ones don't already exist? I don't. Like micro ones. Like Mosquito-sized. Yeah, uh, yeah, that is a possibility. Um, and what's even weirder about that is that, you know, you were, if you were to mention that 10 years ago, that would, li that would be like the tin kooky, foil. Kook kookiest, it was like tin foily fucking thing you could say is, uh, I think they might have a mosquito sized. And now somebody says it and kind of goes, you know, uh, <laughs> I really don't want to think about that, but that is a possibility, you know? I mean, look at how small they have by cameras and shit mm -hmm. already. Yeah. Know? Yeah, I have a pen with a camera on it. Takes HD pictures. <laughs> As do I, yeah. It's it, I think you got a better model of mine than I do because mine like it gets kind of like choppy sometimes with the video, but yeah, it does. It, that it do. It does take video. Yeah, it stores it on the micro USB. But um Yeah. So, what, what were we talking about again? Uh, drones. Drones. Um, and getting things getting smaller. Yeah, things getting smaller. Uh, not related to jumping in like a cold pool or anything like that. <laughs> uh, we went to, uh, um, I guess the, what was the other thing we were talking about too was um, distractions. You know. Um, you know, distraction would just be almost practically anything on television, so people don't talk about the fact that they got these really tiny drones. You know, to to, <laughs> to make a trans to make a transition of you know that's that was about as smooth. That's as why you don't know about the about the damn drones. Yeah. Or Osman, what what's his what was his code name? Uh, Tim Osman. Tim Osman. I don't even know who Tim Osman is. It's Osama bin Laden. Oh, really? Yeah, what? that was his Tim name. Tim Osmond? That was his CIA name. Tim Osmond. <laughs> wow. T 
Tim Osmond. Huh. That's hilarious, Tim Osmond. I thought everybody do that. I know. No, I didn't. <laughs> now that I do know, like, that's... That's a better name than what was it? Martha Stewart's name in prison. She was M Diddy. Literally, that was her name. <laughs> that was a funny. That that shit maybe would make me laugh for months after I heard it. M Diddy. Oh, it's so good. No, Still I funny. Know him, Diddy. <laughs> Still good. <laughs> so. What are we talking about again? Oh yeah, distraction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that butterfly! Oh shit! Squirrel. Oh. Squirrel. Um. So, at this point, and and this is one of those like theor- theorize away things. What is the if we think about most of the, like the media, you know, that's that's regularly consumable, I suppose that you could that you find if you were to turn on your TV or or, or so forth. Uh, what is, what are they trying to distract us from? What, what do you guys think? Like, what is the like? What's going on today? That. Yeah, or like, I mean, I know, uh, we can talk about vagaries. That, yeah, they're just trying to distract us from the, the fact there's a debt, there's a war going on, there's always a war going on, you know. Uh, they're, they're always signing treaties that they don't really want people to know about, all that sort of stuff. But, I mean, is it... I was listening to something today. Okay. That basically, to, to that exact point, it's to obfuscate uh, that there's a pole shift going on. Ooh, okay. And that they, yeah, that would cause mad, mad mayhem if the, if the people put that together. Mm-hmm. So. We're on giant blue marble. There's no way off it, by the way. It's going to start getting in cold in places it doesn't normally get cold. <laughs> <It's hot. laughs> yeah. Really cold. Nah, we'll, we got global warming to cancel that out. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it at all. Cancel it out. Yeah, at that point of the pole shift, you know, just... Is that uh, on, on Futurama? They're like, oh, so global warming never actually happened, huh? No, it happened, but it was canceled out by nuclear winter. <laughs> yeah. If there's a pole shift happening, just, just break out that, uh, you know, that 72 Chevelle that, you know, burns like a gallon every five miles or something like that. And <laughs> solve everything. Yeah. Before you know it, we'll be fine again. Be nice, tropical, sunny everywhere. We might even see pterodactyls come back. Flying <laughs> out. It's so tropical. You know, it's one of my favorites. Is a drone that operates like a pterodactyl? Yeah, that's a great <laughs> idea. We should make a drone that flies like dude, a pterodactyl. Dude, I saw I saw a Millennium Falcon drone. What? Yeah. Oh, I want it. Oh, I want it so bad. <laughs> The endless amounts of cheap B movies you can make with that. Oh man! Just <laughs> floats in like a hubcap on a string from you know Plan Nine from Outer Space. Oh, it's great! It's beautiful. Damn it, Mike. You distracted me again. <laughs> Distraction! That's the word of the day. Hey, everybody. Ah! <laughs> I know. Where's the talking couch? Ah! That's the word of the day. Distraction! <laughs> I'm brought to you by the Children's Television Workshop. There we go. And viewers like you. <laughs> viewers like you. Uh, now, not knowing about the the pole shift thing, you know, as that being a, a cause, I, I've kind of always assumed it as a distraction from the fact that that they do consider us to be slaves, you know, or or if they don't consciously know that's the way that right. the government treats yeah. us, right. regardless. So, right. so maybe it's just you know uh, the distraction from like the big the big picture, you know. In a, in a kind of more vague sense of like, hey, you know. Just well, you know, they, people always talk about like the the elite, the mm-hmm. Illuminati, mm-hmm. NWO, whatever, mm-hmm. as being like this nefarious organization trying to, mm-hmm. you know. But I'm sure that they feel like they're doing the right thing. Right. Yeah, you know, I uh, when we talk about chaos versus order, not stealing Christie's topic, Christie. But uh, I, I think that 
if they're, they're you know narcissistic they may be narcissistic and mm -hmm. psychopathic and <laughs> yeah that they yeah that they are that they either well, if they really are all, but if they really are all psychopaths right and they don't care but let's assume that they're probably not all psychopaths because that would be a very <coughs> strange segment of the population for them all to be psychopaths that yeah they probably could be genetic yeah. Well, like, or, or take it into degrees of psychopathy, right. sociopath, and narcissist, right? So you really, when you look at them from that perspective, not mm -hmm. everyone has to be a psychopath. You could just have those who sort of worship the seat of power, but mm -hmm. they're not, them, maybe them themselves aren't technically psychopathic. They just have, like, a propensity to go that direction, right. or they have yeah. the uh, potential. And then the narcissist is just... He's fully functional as far as, you know, the emotional spectrum. He's mm. just completely lost into himself, right? The world is. So those other two are, are equally capable of, you know, the horrific action as the bona fide psychopath. Sometimes I feel distracted from the fact that I look around at the that clothes people are wearing, and then there's like pyramids on everything. It seemed yes. to that up to me one time that we were just like, that we, we, we both had moments where we looked around and it's like, why is it that I've seen three different like shirts on people today, and they all have pyramids with an eye on the top of it? Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. That's not like yeah. really a thing, is it? Apparently it's a thing. <laughs> that was that uh, doctor, what that guy that we saw mm. speak? Um. Oh, yeah. Um, Clarence, not Clarence. Oh, Cornell. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Cornell. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a couple there's those there too. Yeah, like, it was like a row of them, and the, it was all different shirts, but they were all pyramids with, with eyes on them. Wow. It's all seeing eye. And, you, and yeah, when you see that a lot, you try not to get too paranoid. You're like, well, <laughs> oh, that just so happens they all like that with a pyramid on it, but at the same time, you kind of go, Whatever happens to the government, it seems to be, or with, you know, the powers of BOI, whatever you want to call it, is that nobody really seems to care. So if they wanted to, they could just make it really obvious and be like, hey, so guess what? We're printing shirts now. They have pyramids on. Everybody's going to wear it. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> you know, so, you know. What gets going, me is those California shirts. Oh, like, why do you want to advertise that you from that you belong to the state? I know what's going on with that, actually. Oh, uh, okay. From, uh, I, used, I used to work at Walmart, and that was... They just got the shipment of those shirts. So just, that was like, instead of, it, yeah, it, you know, instead of like having like, you know, I mean, they still have like the, the table that's got multicolored shirts, but the, but the, like the fashion shirt for that month, whatever, was just like a whole bunch of those. And so it was like, you people going in, obviously like you need a new shirt and you're like, um, this one's cheap. So you wear a shirt, you buy a shirt for 10 bucks. And that was just the thing. And, of course, it sold well because it was cheap, so then everybody was like, oh, I guess everybody wants California shirts, and there you go. <laughs> that's, my, that's my take on it. I don't know how accurate that is, but that was my theory. Wow. Walmart is to blame. Yeah, no, yeah it was, I remember that. And we had a whole bunch of California shirts. I'm like, oh, all right. Now you got people not even from California wearing those stupid shirts. That's hilarious. I mean, at least, like, yeah, well, at least I live here or whatever, you know, but... Jeez. That's going to send flames right our way. Kind of like the New York shirts. Remember those? Yeah. Everybody was wearing New York City shirts? Yeah. Well, wait a minute. When was that? Was that like right after 9 11 or something? Or? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. New York Fed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. At, yeah. Yeah, you ever notice how everybody's always wearing those. Those jackets with the three letters on them, the sunglasses, like following you everywhere. <laughs> one of these days, Steve. One of these days, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna bring that up to you, and I'm gonna be like, you know, it was really weird all day, you know, with these guys, you know. <laughs> three letters. They were driving a white van, said "Flowers by Irene" on it. <laughs> Fucking trip. I ever tell you I got followed home from one of these meetings? I uh, followed all the way home to my to the to the house. Uh, really? Yeah. Turned out it was Joe. Turns out <laughs> it was Joe. That's good to hear. He just happened to be going going home from 
someplace, same time we were. Steve was in there. Steve was in his truck, sweating bullets. I oh, just yeah. drove past and circled around the block. Oh, well, yeah. That's, I mean, I think that's, I think that's what anybody would have done. Yeah, exactly. But as soon as I passed the house, Joe pulled into the driveway, and I was like, oh. You parked around the corner away to see if anybody <laughs> came out with, like, suits on or anything. You're like, hmm. You know. It's like, why is the mailman out at 2 a.m.? <laughs> Delivering packages at 2 o'clock in the morning. That's unheard of. That's dedication. Uh, I suppose it's near Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the old lady walking her... Your dog for four hours yeah. just keeps circling the block. Yeah, very <laughs> strange. At two in the morning. <laughs> I've kind of thought like when I, you know, distraction is, uh, and maybe it's just because it sounds terrible, and I probably make, make me sound real old, like those damn kids and their music. But uh, <laughs> like, doesn't seem that like you know that a lot of the music is just kind of like. A distraction because it's barely passable is what you might call music. It's crazy with the, well, no, just the lyrics. No, it's, it's yeah. literally uh, most of the pop songs written today are written by three people. Yeah, yeah, three nearly people. all pop songs written today. There, three people. And there's an algorithm involved in there somewhere, isn't there? Mm -hmm. the music writing algorithm. It, it's written to be. Uh, um, addictive. Yeah. Yeah, doubling and trebling the. You, uh, no, you you think I'm 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 completely serious here. Oh no, I com I completely <laughs> believe you. Yeah, no, you can hear every pop song is like there'll be a word that they'll say uh, twice or three times, and that is specifically to get it stuck in your head. Like that is the way the song was written was to get it stuck in your head. And that's that's generally how you can tell the difference between good rappers and bad rappers. If that like the good rapper is the guy that doesn't have to do that, the bad rapper is the guy that has to do it, and that's his entire fucking song. So yeah. yeah interesting. Justin Bieber, for example. <laughs> Justin Bieber is a rapper now. Well, I think he styles himself as that now. But then again, like that was last month. I don't know. But I'm also really not following what Justin Bieber is doing either because <laughs> I've got my own distractions, and that isn't one of them. So personally, I choose comic books. But because there's no propaganda in those. Mm, yeah, yeah, Captain never. America. Yeah, Captain America. <laughs> you know, Captain America just apparently doesn't seem like such a bad guy. Anarchy. Uh, <laughs> anarchy. The villain, anarchy. Oh. oh. Why am I? Why is that not ringing a bell with me? He's, He's black man. Oh. Um. Yeah, okay, so is like is a distraction always a bad thing? You know, or do we constantly have to be glued Dude, to glue you would be depressed like twenty four hours that's a day. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you'll turn into Al <laughs> you'll turn into Alex Jones real quick. If you don't have something to do with your time, you know, but <laughs> ships and little bottles, you know. Uh, growing tomatoes. Growing tomatoes, you know, I got yeah, gardening, something, you know. Working on working on a you know pet car projects. Fallout like Four. Fallout Four. <laughs> yeah, your video games. You know, I mean, but I don't I don't see doing something, enjoying something that is you know just completely you know you're using you know grand total sum of you know really not that much of your brain. I don't see anything wrong with that. So that's what you want to do. You got to turn the brain off sometimes. Brain can't always be doing its thing. Yeah, turn off the brain box sometimes and just toast. As long as you're, you know, aware of the subtle, right? Yeah, yeah like if propaganda. Like, yeah, as soon as you're watching TV and you're actually cognizant of when you're getting pitched, you know, a bad idea. You know, like, like Longmire and Walt Longmire, Sheriff Longmire is a good guy. But in that show, he's like more than one. He's actually gone to the pharmacist without a warrant and mm. figured out what meds someone's taken from the local pharmacist or whatever, you know. Mm. And no, there's 
those ideas are peddled in that show, and not just that one. The law enforcement shows are notorious for right. having these really totally, you know, horrible circumstances peddled across the waves. Like it's okay to do searches without warrants. It's, you know, all that. Law jazz. and order. Yeah, right. The, uh, they do it all the time. CSI. Yeah, CSI is hilarious. So people CSI. are actually pro, literally programmed uh -huh. to oh, accept yeah. that. You know what I mean? That's the thing to do. It's cool if the cops do that because they really got to. They're doing somebody. it for the right reason. Yeah. yeah. Really got to. The boogeyman like, might. If you don't me. have anything to hide. Yeah. Uh, CSI is a fun example because like that shit ain't real. <laughs> like that's what's really funny about that. Like all these like you put it in the computer and three D model it and turn it around and that's what that shoe really and, looks and like. And rape kids that come back in the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And not eleven years later and shit. Yeah, that's that's a that's a whole show in itself about how the you know rape kids were going unprocessed because they're too busy trying to figure out the strain of whatever marijuana plant that they had arrested somebody <laughs> for right? or you know specifically what part of pakistan did that fucking heroin that they just got from somebody come from like really whereas versus some poor woman got raped and she needs evidence to prove who was the rapist and oh well, if it's, it's somewhere we'll get to it like jesus christ you know i mean come on it was terrible But drugs are bad, Mike, okay? Drugs are bad, okay? Drugs are bad. Unless it's acid. Acid's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's acid. Unless you, you, Remember that, you kids. You heard quote, unquote, me, I said it. Drugs are bad unless it's acid. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, drug, drugs are bad, like Oxycontin, uh, Percocet. Morphine, prescription pharmaceutics. pharmaceutics. Yeah, isn't isn't that a wild SSRIs? One? Yeah, isn't that a wild one that like the the things that you're prescribed that you go to a doctor and have to you know go through the whole thing of like well this hurts me this bugs me I've got joint pain blah 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 blood pressure pills. Yeah, all, all, you know, all these things <laughs> that are supposed to all know, not terrible for you. Yeah, or or uh, so bad for you. What was the one you showed me the other day? Oh, it might cause oh, sudden, yeah. yeah, might cause sudden <laughs> death. Uh, uh. Yeah, there's, a, there's this new pill for BED, which stands for binge eating disorder. Which didn't exist what, what a year ago or something. They just came like, up with it. Like what the first the first thing that they mentioned in the commercial may cause sudden death. <laughs> and it's like and and if it doesn't, then you're gonna be psychotic afterward. Mm. It causes psychotic episodes. Yeah, that was a Cause, wild one. Causes you to hallucinate. Woo. Says if you start changing colors to notify your doctor, I'm dead serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you turn, what was it? If you turn all the colors to the French flag, please inform your physician of that problem because it could be a bad thing. <laughs> but you won't be binge eating anymore. Yeah, but you won't be binge eating anymore. There was a, there, I, I remember one that was a particularly toxic or something like that. Was it was one for. Uh, uh, if you've got like yellow toenails, Vivance, that's what it was. Oh, but yeah, Vivance. But, but yeah, the one for the ye yellow toenails was really bad too. Was that in six months your toenails are gonna be like you know white again, and uh, but you have to get like your liver tested every month because yep. it could be killing you. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it is killing your liver. Yeah. Like. Not not only antifungals are terrible for you. Like like oral ones right they will fuck up your liver to the and and it's cumulative like if you took six pills when you were 20 and now you're 40 and you've got fungus on your nails again mm -hmm. your liver remembers that six from your 20s <laughs> and there is a limited number before they say you can't take any more of these pills your liver is like, hey, remember this <laughs> bullshit from six years ago? Yeah, it still hurts. <laughs> still hurts. I don't know what the number is, but let's say it's 20 pills. Right. Like over the, your lifetime. Mm -hmm. th th that's cumulative. So like if you took five when you're 20, five when you're 30, five when you're 40, you only got five left before you need a new liver. 
And then sometimes some of that shit just don't work. I remember, I remember when uh, I was in high school, well, you know, like any typical teenager, I had really bad acne. And so the conclusion was, well, like, perhaps you should take these different medications. That will Antibiotics. Like, yeah, didn't do shit. You didn't, like, honestly, like, you, you know, tried for, like, three, four months, whatever. Hey, doc, this doesn't work. Okay, here's no. Oh, it doesn't work either. To the point where they're like, okay, well, there's one medication, but you're going to have to get your liver checked every three months. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> like, at that point, I was over. Like, I'm like, no. No, I'm not doing that. I'm just, get, apparently, this is my skin. And that's the way it's going. Uh. So, yeah. I mean, eventually, I guess I got past that teenage stage, and I don't break out as much. But, yeah, it was pretty bad at one point. So how about them Mets? How about them Mets? <laughs> Is it that bad that we're talking about? Um, uh, sports is another distraction. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. circuses of bread and circuses. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Did you know the NFL was a non-profit up until, like, 2010? Huh. No. Yeah. You don't say. Well, you know, and then uh, there's the other thing. Paid no taxes. Wow. <laughs> they, um, they kind of, they definitely get in on the, on the whole, like, uh, worshiping the omnipotence. I'm not saying that it's good that they're paying taxes. Right, now, right, right. But. So because taxation is theft, the more you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, what they, they're wearing, like, the camo shirts and camo, like, earpieces and all that, and the. NFL because they got you know like some contract with the oh NBA yeah wear camo and they, you know so th- so they're totally in on the whole like you know state Pink worship shoes for the Susan T. Komen Foundation which is all another one of those horrible companies that are feeding mm-hmm. off of cancer patients. So it's just one of those like charities where the money just disappears and doesn't go anywhere. Pretty yeah. much, or the. Where the guy who runs it is making millions of dollars and flying a charity, like thirty cents on the dollar, actually makes it to sure enough, any kind of research in a, in, a, in a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> but that's necessary to spread awareness. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's that's really a, like those race for the cures. Mm-hmm. Most of those uh, operate in the red. Mm-hmm. Like they make, they they don't even take in as much money from those as they, as they spend on the on the event. Mm-hmm. But they claim that they're for advertisement purposes, not for donation collection. And then where does the money go to? You know, I mean, as a, as in who 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 decides which. Uh, Medication that money's going to, if any medication at all, you know, because uh, you know they're deciding, you know, it could just be sent to some quack and thanks for the cash and try this medication I came up with overnight and you know, FDA approval ten years later and uh, find out it's toxic and gives you a third arm and you know, now you gonna say nipple? Yeah. You know, <laughs> Considered it, and then arm came out. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't trust the FDA. Don't ever trust the FDA. Those guys are crazy. <laughs> I mean, you know, think about it. Like every medication that's ever been recalled was already approved by the FDA in the first place. So there's one. Like, talk about a track record. You know. Would you loan the the FDA money and expect to get it paid back? No, <laughs> no, they wouldn't pay it back. They, you know, they'd write. They don't have to though. They write. They're the government. They don't have to. That's true. They're the government. They don't have to do anything. Oh, here's a distraction. Do you think that twenty eight pages is a whole big fucking distraction? Twenty eight yeah. pages. Yeah, the nine eleven yeah. like report thing. Yeah, I think it's a because if you dig deeper, it's Israeli. Yeah, that's okay. so I think. It, yeah, it's just another layer of shit you gotta go through before you start to find more damning stuff somewhere else. If I were to 
create a robot that I could say have sex with, with how big of a distraction would that be? You'd probably need an FAA license. You'd probably need an FAA <laughs> license. That's a lot of distraction. A lot of distraction. I was just thinking of the Rick and Morty episode. Did you see that one where... Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was hilarious. That was good. Yep. Well, have a good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Drink your tea. Drink your tea. It's good for you. <laughs> Tea's good for you.